Hello, I'm Reza Red from Redacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a common problem in Power BI, which is creating relationship between two tables based on multiple columns. I have two tables, which I want to connect them based on more than one columns. How can I do that in Power BI? Let's check it out. Power BI relationships are important for creating a filter scenario between one table to another table. If a table in Power BI will not filter another table unless you create a relationship in between. Uh, so relationships in Power BI are quite important. Now, uh, you can create relationships in Power BI quite easily with just dragging a field from one table to the same field on the other table. Uh, and Power BI does a good job in uh, automatically finding those relationships. However, sometimes it does not. Sometimes you want to create a relationship based on multiple fields and that is when Power BI has limitations. So here is an example. I have a sales table, as you can see in this, uh, in this screen, and this sales table has a month column in it, which is 1 to 12, and a year column. Uh, it doesn't really have a date column. On the other table, which is a month table, I have a year column and I also have a month column, month number of year. So I want to create a relationship based on these two fields. But the problem is that when I uh, create relationship based on the year, for example, it comes up with this uh, a dialog box or let's say this screen that asks to create a many to many relationships. Even if I could do that after creating the relationship, let's say I did that, uh, after creating the relationship, it doesn't let me to do that on the month. So if I go and select the month, then uh, it creates another scenario that I can say, okay, use this to create month relationships. And the second relationship is an inactive relationship, which is totally different subject. Uh, I have explained about that in my blog articles on radicat.com, which you can find link down below. So having these two doesn't mean that you created the relationship between these two tables based on these two fields at the same time. So what I'm going to do is to delete that relationship. So don't create many too many relationships like that if you want to create relationship based on multiple fields. Remove that. Now the reason that we cannot create this relationship is that Power BI doesn't allow you to create relationship based on multiple fields. However, there's a very small little trick which can be helpful for this scenario and that is you can create relationship based on one single field. So all you need to do is to concatenate those fields together, the year and month in each table to create uh, one single field and then create relationship based on that single field. Some people prefer to do that in um, DAX using a calculated column. Uh, I prefer to do that in edit queries because that's usually much easier place to do that. So I'll go to the home tab uh, in Power BI under edit queries, which brings me to Power Query editor window. Uh, in this window, I'll see each table. So here I have the month table. Uh, here I have the month table. What I'll do is I'll select these columns in an order. So uh, calendar year, hold the control key, then month number of years. So these are columns that I'm going to concatenate together. Uh, to concatenate these together, there's a transformation called merge, uh, which if you go to add column section, add column and then you can choose merge from there that means it will keep the existing two columns and it will create a new column which is result of merge let me just do that to show you how it works so merge column um, and then i can call it merged year month so this will create that merged year month as you can see uh, it's a merged value of those two together. And I can do the same thing in the sales table. Now, uh, the reason that I prefer to do this in the Power Query uh, rather than in DAX is that I can actually use this approach. I can select these two again here, but instead of adding a new column, which means uh, uh, consuming extra memory, what I will do is I will go to Transform tab 
<coughs> and use merge columns there. That means it will replace these two columns with the merged result afterwards. So let me call this also merged uh, year and month. If you put the same name for these two columns uh, that you are creating, so you can see that this is replaced the other two, uh, then when I close and apply, this will automatically create the relationship. You have to be careful that one of your tables should have unique values for this combination. In this case, my month table has the unique, uh, a unique list of values for this combination of month and year. So after doing these, I'll go to Home tab, close and apply. And this time Power BI would automatically uh, detect the relationship most of the case if your table if your field names are matching it should automatically find the relationship and here you go you see that the relationship is already created which I can then use it anywhere I want and you can see the relationship is created based on the merged field that I have created. There are other methods to do this as well like creating a lookup scenario using merged queries in Power Query, getting the lookup value and using it. Uh, but this is the simplest way and the fastest way that you can get this working. Hope this video helped in your scenario. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.